You remember the Colombian prostitution scandal that vanished after all those Secret Service agents were punished? According to the Washington Post, they weren't the only ones hiring hookers. A young White House staffer and son of a big Democratic donor was there, too. Was he punished as well? Well, if you call landing a gig at the Office of Women's Global Issues punishment, then yes, he did. So I guess he was just doing undercover work in Colombia, witnessing the injustices up close. Maybe the producers at MSNBC will buy that excuse. Worse, the Post reports that the White House may have had the report on the scandal put off until after the election. But that's not like them at all. Benghazi, the IRS, they would never bury something to save an election, knowing the media would oblige. Who are the hookers again? I certainly hope Media Matters gets its talking points out soon to dismiss this story and demonize the reporters chasing it. Yet while we wonder what happened to those missing EPA emails or that impending report on Bo Bergdahl, which likely won't come out until after the elections, where's Waldo? I mean Obama. Fundraising with Gwyneth. It's the only part of politics he's good at. I blame global warming. And so as agents and military, military men were punished, a skeevy White House merely skipped to re-election with their cronies rewarded, a machinery impervious to consequence thanks to its media enablers. It's a fine web they weave where everyone gets screwed except those who paid in advance. So, KG, uh, I want to uh, read this uh, statement from Richard Sauber. He's the attorney representing Jonathan uh, Duck, Dak, whatever, Doc, uh, the, the kid that was right. over there. The aide. Uh, that uh, apparently was linked to prostitution. Right. He says right. the allegations about any inappropriate contact by Jonathan Duck in Cartagena <laughs> are utterly and completely false. He's ducking the question. When he arrived, he was met at the airport by U.S. Embassy staff, driven to the hotel, checked in, went to dinner, and then promptly went to bed exhausted. So he's saying there's nothing wrong there, KG. He would say that, but it's kind of strange that he gets a plum job. All these guys get fired or demoted, but he gets mm -hmm. a great job. In a weird way, it shows how the White House is willing to protect the mothership at the expense of these agents. And the answer was in the call of the question, and I commend you. It's accurate. You're exactly I right. I hate it when I do it's that. A, it's a double standard, right? Mm -hmm. And it shows the hypocrisy of the administration because they fired Secret Service agents for the same conduct, even though they said, well, listen, prostitution is legal in Cartagena and Colombia, so this was okay. They weren't committing an offense there. As always, it's the cover-up that is the most egregious of, of the crime, that aspect of it. But here, why are they saying that he's okay to work for them mm -hmm. if the Secret Service agents are not? Mm -hmm. Why? And that they covered it it up as well. That's the problem here. That, I think the cover up, putting it off, which happens to be a regular thing for them. So Kermit, uh, if I can ask you this question, uh, this is not, uh, the, uh, the Washington Post is not a crackpot website. Uh, this is the Washington Post. Uh, how can any of the left wing blogs or, or, or the liberal media dismiss this? That's why they're, they're a little bit confound, you know, they're floundering a little bit because they're not exactly sure. Carol Lenning and David Nakamura have been writing, um, Pieces. They are, they're experts on the Secret Service issue for right. number, one, number one, but they're also um, they're seasoned reporters that do a lot of investiga investigatory things. So if I were the White House press secretary, if I saw this piece, I'd say, is there something I don't know? Yeah. I mean, what do they know that we don't know, or that somebody here hasn't told me, or what questions am I not uh, asking? Mm -hmm. um, basically, uh, right before, as soon as the piece posted, uh, the White House was on the record saying it's totally false. But the interesting thing for me is this part where it says that a lead government investigator yeah. told the, the, the investigators that he was pressured yeah. by superiors to withhold evidence because a link to the White House would be potentially embarrassing to the administration. The reason they're having a big problem, I think, uh, the, at the White House defending this is that they know that uh, these reporters, they're not just going to throw out anything out there. It's, it's, their reputations are on the line. I would also note that the Washington Post has not changed the story. Mm -hmm. They've not taken it down. There's not been any editing of it, and I think that there would have been if there was a problem. Mm. Why are you laughing at me? She's no, right. it's, just, it's the no. Kermit. They would have so, taken it it's down. The, it's a beautiful sweater. But, uh, did you hear anything I just said? <laughs> it was brilliant. It was brilliant. But you were laughing but at me er the whole time. Eric is going to add yeah. to that brilliance. Uh, uh, the, the, and I pulled the same line. I mean, this is a 15-page online, 15-page um, um, piece, and I pulled the same line. Here's what they quote Neeland as saying, lead investigator. With, he was told to withhold and alter. Forget withhold. I mean, yes. withhold's bad enough. Told alter. to alter yeah. certain information in his report because it was potentially damaging to the administration. 
Wow. I mean, yeah. if that isn't as, as um, a, a big, you know, it, though people will say, you know, maybe the IRS isn't a scandal or Benghazi is not a scandal. If, if someone from the White House tells an IG to withhold and alter information until after an election, I would call that definitely a scandal. Can I also talk very briefly about this young guy, this uh, Jonathan Dak? Yeah. Datch, I believe. I could be wrong, but Datch. 25-year-old uh, tw advance goes to Columbia and then um, ends up at least loosely tied by these investigators with this prostitute. Then comes back and, as you point out, gets a job in uh, the Office of Women's Global Issues at the White House. And his father, the rich donor, yeah. works, in the White, works in the administration as well. Yeah, and he's given, for them as well. given 20, uh, at least $20,000 to President Obama and thousands to, other, uh, to the Democratic Party. So because Bob, they're good to their friends. Yeah, they're good yeah. to their friends. They are good at that. <laughs> so, Bob, I can't, I, none of us can expect the president to know or be responsible for any illicit activity that's going on in Colombia. But the cover-up to save an election, we've talked about this, and you admit this is a practice. That's pretty unconscionable. Well, it's, uh, first of all, I want to go two things. One, the, uh, the, it was not uh, the White House that fired the Secret Service. The Secret Service themselves made that decision. Secondly, back then I defended the Secret Service guys right. who were bachelors because it is legal. They were off duty. Mm -hmm. Now I'll be more than happy, even further than happy, to defend this kid, he's, he was a volunteer. It's a le it's but legal. He says it didn't happen. Pardon me. He says it didn't happen. I, I'm not defending his lying. I'm just saying it defends what happened. He's lying. But now, he, but so if, you're saying that he's can lying. Can I finish here? <laughs> yes. a second, please. <laughs> yeah. If I had that information and I were involved in politics and it was 30, 60 days before the campaign, I would bury it too. Yeah. Wow. And wait, wait, wait. You, I, would, you would tell someone to bury the information what, after, I would, after I would, but that, after he was you, a volunteer. I could care less. No, 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 no. It's who cares what the kid did. It's the fact that they this this Neil David Nealon was the lead investigator. The IG was told by the White House we to bury us. the yeah. information. He would, you don't think that's he, a, a, this, a conspiracy? This was a, a, a non-employee of the federal government who was no, doing he, exactly. He got rewarded legal. with a job in the federal well, government. Well, that, well, that I think is a bad mistake. That's a bad mistake. I would not have rewarded. I would have sent him on his way. But I but. That's not the point. I mean, they make a big deal out of this. There's a lot of things to make a big deal out of it, but Guys, it's no big deal. What he did. This doesn't it's shock the fact Bob. that they, want, that the they were told by the White House to bury the information. Forget about what he did. Mm -hmm. Who cares what a 25-year-old kid does in Colombia? It's the fact that the White House leans on an IG to well, bury and, and alter certain information because of a, an election. He doesn't you've care. Ever, you've ever, if you've ever been Bob in uh, uh, campaigns when Fine. things are close like that uh, and something comes up that is, that is not illegal, of course you go to bury But, Bob, that, it's... It, this is the son of a donor. So he got. Sp he didn't. Everybody got thrown under the bus, but him. No, no. That's no. pretty special disgusting. Why should, why should you special throw treatment. A volunteer under this bus? Well, he might have been involved. Uh, I mean, it's, it's maybe. And and one. and we have on top of that the fact that they w delayed the report till after the election, which seems to be a practice, which is what happened. And with, they were told with, to uh, alter it. I mean, Benghazi. come on. Can I add one more layer There's of why? There's too many scandals. No one's shocked important. anymore by anything. Because the whole issue about this was these people, the advanced team, knew exactly where President Obama was going to be at every single point of the way. They had car services booked for him to go here, to here, to here. And if you're sleeping with a prostitute, who knows where she comes from? And if you're giving her that information, if you're drunk sleeping with her, then maybe the world knows where President Obama is going to be at what time. That's it's why it matters. Well, I, okay. All right. I, I think we just we obviously have different a different moral outlooks the, on this thing. But I, but I, uh, this is a 25 year old kid who's. Well, first of all, not he's not a kid. Yeah. He's 25 years old. Okay. He's a man. He's a man. He's making decisions on his own. He got his dad happens to be a rich guy who used to give money to the Democrats. Fine. Goes on for, to serve in the administration at HHS, or yeah, HHS. Then his son gets a plum assignment, while everybody else has to take the fall. What kind of a man is that? No, Besides, I actually care about the women. Mm -hmm. I, I, I actually the do women care that work at the, the women. White, yes. I mean, well, and also the the, the, the women of Colombia. Yeah. Like this is someone's daughter, mother, sister. sister. The, the, these are women that have either chosen because of bad circumstances, or pushed into, or forced into. A situation that is terrible, and I don't think that I don't like it that even if he is a volunteer, he still got paid government money mm -hmm. to pay for his expenses. And I don't want my government dollars to go and explo exploiting women. And then, I mean, you just got to hope that they're being humorous about it, to giving him a job in the Office of Global Women's Issues at the State Department. Yeah, it's that, real. That the was, irony that, is not lost. I wonder how the spokespeople of the State Department feel about that. And who that, has that, a war that, that, against that was, women? That, I that ask was, you. That, that really was of all the things you could possibly think about. On top of everything else, job, they're just I, stupid. Yeah, I can't imagine people putting that kind of Can I, But there's moral equivalency here. Uh, you know, they let me don't, throw they don't to, think it's a bad thing. Let me. Th I'm going to go to you, Kimberly, after this. Uh, this is uh, some sound on tape of Congressman Chavitz and oh, Ronald Kessler uh, slamming the White House double standard in this scandal. 
There were nearly two dozen Secret Service and military personnel that were either fired or reprimanded. But the concern is that when it came to the White House and the White House taking care of its own personnel, a totally different standard and perhaps a misdirection and some cover up. It's really the White House that's that's the key here. And, and they perpetuated a double standard where mm -hmm. Secret Service agents were fired for hiring prostitutes, as they should have been, and yet their own uh, aide was involved and they covered that up. So there's a lot of double standards here. One of them is I keep thinking if this was under President Bush, they would blame it on his frat boy past. And it would be front page. <laughs> yeah. Do you understand that? It's like unfair dealing, a lack of moral standards. If this was President Bush, if this Why, was President Bush, we're not in a corner. Not President Frat Bush. Boys, we're not in a corner. Him in the President office Obama of global is. Women. So it's, the whole thing is, it, this is how offensive it is. They keep out doing themselves like, oh, you think that scandal is about? We got another one. Boom. And they just jump it every time. That's true. There will they be would, another one. It would one. have been a culture. It would, they would have said it was a culture of allowing this yep. type of bad behavior to happen. And, and it happened. Turned a blind eye to it. Yeah. That's what, uh, that was the, what the accusation should have been. They, they made, a, they made a, a, a terrible blunder getting this guy a job afterwards. I had no question about that. I think you've now elevated this to a scandal, I see. So this adds into our, our list of scandals. It's but not the point, Bob. It's I don't even they, think the they job they is the problem. told the investigators to lie. No, I understand, listen, the, I understand that. I'm just saying that I can sort of understand. If you're I talking about the act itself that you don't right. have a moral problem with. We're talking about the fact that they covered it up. Can I answer this one question at a time? And yeah. then I'll answer your question. But you keep interrupting them. Right. <laughs> the, the point is, we get it. You I, don't think I, the I, act I, is a big I, deal. I, We're talking about the law. Cover up. The cover up. The cover up. Okay. The, and the media is complicit. Which, which four should yes, I respond by to? By not asking Anyone you questions. Want. Okay. Could I Yes, respond? you could, Bob. Okay. You're running out of time. Okay. I won't <laughs> to the cover up. I want to hear that. I'm, I'm the, uh, if I were in a campaign and I were running it, and somebody came to me and said, Bob, one of our volunteers who were helping the president advance got hooked up with a prostitute in Columbia, I'd say, is it illegal? No. I said, no, let's wait till after the campaign's over. Okay, then take it one step further with the, which is what Dana points out, what the White House did today, and said, this is absolutely false. The Washington Post that, reporters that's don't. That's where they get the But here, they are right. Correct. Because now they've gone on record saying this is false. It's not true. I agree. And when now we know it when is. When there's some link to this guy and that prostitute mm -hmm. to that room, you're going to have the White House again, again, lying to the American people. One yes. last thing, quick, Dana. Uh, the Bo Bergdahl report. When is that coming out? Is that going to come out after the election? I would, I, I don't know when it is coming out. Yeah. I, I would say this. If the White House is sitting on that report mm -hmm. and they are thinking that it is a smart thing to do to wait until after the election to reveal whatever information is in that report because they think it would possibly hurt them in the midterms, which I don't think it would. I think yeah. the midterms are going to be what they're going to be. Yeah. They're holding that report back to try to protect the president, I think that is unconscionable, and I hope that the press is asking them, where is that report? Yeah, and unethical. Just about well. the guy that went, went AWOL and, and yeah. Yeah, yes. that uh, would be a mistake.